How I am loving this. Hello, hello, hello. Official JDTV here. How are you all? Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, as you can tell by the title, it is that time again. It has come on so quick. It is the week two of Britain's Got Talent. Wow, we are in for a treat. It's the 10th year and it is bigger and better. My week one review last week went down a treat. Thank you for everyone who tuned into that and the support was incredible. And I could not wait for week two because Britain's Got Talent, we just don't know who's going to come on that stage. First of all, I want to show you a little present that I bought. I saw this online and I thought, I've got to have my own buzzer. Check this out. Even the noise as well. It is fantastic. Look at that. So I have a buzzer and if I don't agree with an act, I'm going to use it. Definitely. So this week, week two was amazing. There was lots of different acts. The week two of Britain's Got Talent auditions, they went up to Liverpool. And my mate said the Scousers have got a good trick with wallets, but I'm still not sure what it is. And we didn't see one take to the stage of Britain's Got Talent. But um, I think I'll Google it and see what he meant. So, and yes, we didn't have to wait long. Another golden buzzer was used. And Alicia Dixon and Simon Cow was really annoyed. He wanted to press that buzzer. It looked like he was going to press it. But Alicia Dixon was getting it first. Can I just say about the judges this year? The chemistry was just great between them. And they're doing a great job. And I love the whole... Britain's Got Talent family, even Ant and Deck, they're amazing. So I picked my top five Britain's Got Talent week two auditions uh, performances, which I liked for different reasons, and I'm going to review them for you guys. Remember, if you do like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up, because it really helps me a lot. And why not subscribe down below, because I'm doing these all the way up to the live finals, because I want to find our 2016 Britain's Got Talent winner. So here goes, I think I'd better start with the Golden Buzzer performance and that was the Gospel Choir. Wow, they were amazing and congratulations to Alicia Dixon for pressing the Golden Buzzer and wow, 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 weren't they fantastic. So here goes, I hope you really enjoy this one. Here we go, Alicia Dixon's Golden Buzzer performance. It is the 100 Voices of Gospel and they got gold and wow, didn't they deserve it. The whole stage just kept building and building of singers and I thought this is going to sound great. So here goes. We have the lead choir girl there who looks great and sounded great. And then we had, I'm going to guess, 99. And we're thinking, oh it's just a normal gospel, but check this out. She starts singing and she is sounding amazing. I love the song, I think they put the right song here. And I was like, yeah, this is okay, but um, you need to bring it for me. And I was listening like... And then once you said, let's go, bang, here we go. We had dancers, all the gospel choir was moving. And it's just all going on. I love their colour coordinations, what's going on. The crowd was electric from the start. I was sat at home like... Damn, this is a good choir. We see choirs on Britain's Got Talent a lot, but for me this one blew it out of the water and they've done a fantastic job. And all the crowds, all the judges are like dancing. I love the dancers and uh, that mix between singing and dancers and having that lead girl singing. It all worked for me and I thought they were fantastic. Well, I gave them the gold buzzer. I'm not really sure, but Alicia Dixon, it touched her and she pressed the gold on the buzzer. So congratulations to her. Well, so they're going through to the live shows and if they pick the right song, who knows what can happen. I'd love to hear from you, so please leave your comments in the comment box below and tell me what you thought about the golden buzzer performance from these gospel singers. Did you like them and did you enjoy Britain's Got Talent? Because I sure did. So next up, my favourite act of the night. I have never seen something like this in my life. We've had similar with light and shadows and people. And um, they've got far. But this for me, they're called another, another kind of blue. And I thought, this is what Britain's Got Talent's all about. Uniqueness, cleverness. It was so powerful. It was so emotional. I had to rewind it straight away and watch it. I was tweeting about it and I was like, wow. And the public thought they might 
they should have got the girl on the buzzer, and I agree. What they've done is they were dancing on the stage, and it's being projected with a bit of um, IT and software and the um, the creative IT side, and it was just so so clever. And I was watching it, and I thought, like now, it's just oh, I loved that bit. It was just so captivating, and I was watching it, and like. Wow, so if I have to put it out there, these are my winners straight away. I love these. What I've seen on Britain's Got Talent already, week one and week two. For me, these are the ones that I remember and I just think, wow. And also, yes, we saw this one. Look at that as well. But they can do different stuff. And I want to see them do more like patriotic Great Britain um, in that backdrop. But this was just amazing. And them too, just dancing. Yes, they had other crew behind doing other stuff. And as a team, they were just fabulous. Some trips they were doing, like now, just floating in the air, spinning. You're just like, wow, who came up with this? And it was all like jarred together. Simon was loving it. I was loving it. It was powerful. It was everything in the performance. So I'm really happy with this group. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they've got on their sleeve next. Because if they're doing this on their first performance, what can they do next? And, uh, yeah, great ending there, and I really, really liked it. Next up, and I'm not a massive fan of um, one act dancers, I have to admit, but this guy, What's Little Jack, the next My Billy Elliot, and I thought, wow, he is really fantastic. Dream. We wish you the best of and the reason Thank I picked you. him is for two reasons. Yes, he can dance and he's fantastic, but also he mentioned about bullying, which I hate the haters and I hate bullying. And people are like, you should play football, you should do this, you're a boy, you shouldn't dance. He chose ballet, he picked it up, and this was emotional, choreography, the sounds, the moves. It was just really incredible. And Simon congratulated him because he knows about the bullies. And to do this, you know, like Simon said, a good quote. Bullies don't like people who achieve, and he has achieved, and he is going through to the next round. And I was like, just watching him, and the whole movement, and the whole everything was just fantastic. And it got better and better as it went on, and uh, yeah, I loved it, really loved it. Right music, right moves, and he just told a story in the uh, movement, and wow, he's really, really talented. Like, he has got moves, and he's like, really good. So young and so talented, I see why he got through. He got the hearts of the judges, and the crowd, and me. And I thought that was a really amazing performance from that young lad. So next up, we have Wayne Woodward, Could the Woodward. I love singers. But what got me, he's a bit of a cockney lad like that. Listen to his voice. Listen, babe, I'll bring you back to Montilly. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got a bit of a, you know, Danny Dyer accent, like Lady Air, mate. And then he starts singing, and here's his singing voice. It's totally different. He's got the backing of his family, and I see why. Listen to this. He does a bit of swing which really shocked me straight away. His voice and his singer voice does not go together and I thought, wow, this guy's got a really good voice. This is Wayne Woodward and I think he had a fabulous voice. Listen to this. It's like, wow, no one was expecting it. And his echo like, how are you, man? And I was like, wow, wow, wow. His voice and his singer voice I like two different people. And I thought straight away, swing, he's got the Michael Bublé vibe. And he's only 20 with that voice, so who knows? If he picks the right song, he will sound absolutely brilliant. I thought this was the right song, I'm not familiar with it, but I was listening to it as a fan and I thought, wow, what a great voice. And he's really confident and I like his character and I love his voice. So this was a great performance, great, great performance. Yes, like Sam Cal said, in some parts it wasn't the best, but, um, you know, he might got emotional and the nerves got to him a little bit. Alicia Dixon's loving it, and I thought it was a great song, and I love his voice. And to do that on the auditions on Britain's Got Talent, yeah, he smashed it. So um, congratulations to him, and he's going through. 
he had the backing of his family, now he's got the backing of Great Britain, so congratulations. So here goes, finally, what made me fun, and it wouldn't be Britain's Got Talent if we didn't have these apps. And yes, he did get through, it's of Roberto. He's been doing this for decades in his life, and I thought it was great. Someone can't buzz because he dropped the ball, he's a bit of a, a magic act, and I actually loved him. No, sorry, he's not a magic act, he's a ball act, and I thought he had skills. Man has skills, check that out. He went with the music, he got people laughing, he got people watching. Oh yes, bit of Italian in him, he absolutely was smashing it and loved it. Look at how fast he's going, he is incredible. And I was watching it, it made me laugh. It wouldn't be Britain's Got Talent if we didn't have these. And we thought, yeah, <laughs> he's brilliant. And here we go, my favourite bits, the hats come out. Check these out, here we go. And look how fast he goes, and this is talent by the way. Look at that, look at them go. That is talent, what a party trick to have. Can you imagine if I could do that at a party, that would just be fantastic. Yes he caught it, right at the end there. And he loved it, the crowd loved it, and it just made me laugh. And so that was my week two Britain's Got Talent auditions. They were in Liverpool and I fought some great performances. We had a gold buzzer, congratulations to the gospel choir, I thought they took it to church. We had singers, we had magicians, we had ball skills, we had everything this week. But no pets really, so I couldn't bring you dogs. I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing, hey ho. But I really loved it and I can't wait for week three's auditions. Where are they going to go next and what's going to be on that stage? And who knows, week one and week two we've had a gold buzzer. In week three, will we have a gold buzzer? Well, we'll have to wait. Remember, I'm doing these videos all the way up to the live final because I want me and you to find our 2016 Britain's Got Talent winner and they get to perform in front of the Queen at the Royal Riety. I think anyone would want to do that and they are going to take to the stage to impress the judges and impress us at home so they can get that winning prize. I love this week, it was so random, it was so great and I've loved bringing this one to you. Remember if you have loved this video please give it a massive thumbs up because it really helps me a lot. And why not subscribe to my YouTube channel Official Jelly TV and you will catch all my latest videos. And you can stay with me to the final of Britain's Got Talent. And I can't wait to see what takes to the stage on week 3 of Britain's Got Talent. Thank you so much for watching, I've loved this one and I thought the talent was great and it is getting better and better. Love the judges and it's the 10th year so who knows what's going to come on that stage next. I think something great is going to happen on week 3, believe me. Thank you so much for watching, I've been Jack Delaney, you've been watching JDTV, take care.